Hello, hello everyone. Hello guys, how are you on today? I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day on today. Guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris. We have an awesome, awesome story for you on today. I know it's late in the evening, but we're doing a late night evening story time for you. Today is Wednesday. I have an awesome, awesome book for us. We're reading a Christian book on today. I'm going to go ahead on and get started. I would like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some, good night. Someone is going to bed Someone somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Ms. Doris. And for you that are going to be tuning in later, hello and welcome. I hope your day was awesome. Well, today's story we are going to be reading is mystery in the stable mystery in the stable is our story time book we're going to be reading today and guess what our today's color is going to be the color orange this is the color orange and it is a rectangle this is the color orange and it is a rectangle well special shout outs to you all of those that are celebrating their birthday on today happy birthday to you from miss story time miss doris at story time let's get ready for that story time song remember guys make sure that you are practicing safety safety first at all all times there's that song yes! i love that song make sure you're practicing safety safety first hello poopas how are you on today Hello, Zaria. Hello, Princess Azaria. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mason. Happy birthday, Harmony. I hope your guys' day is awesome. Tell you all just what to do. Hello, Royce. Hello, Soso. How are you? Hello, London. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Sarat. Samario. Hello, Kaden. Hello, Seppi. Hello, Aries. I missed you, Aries. Story time with Miss. It's story time. Story time with Miss. It's it's story time, guys. Story time with Miss. Sharing to you, sing to you, tell you all just what to do. Hello, Nana. Hello, Nana. Hello, Randall. Hello, baby Rand. How are you on today? I hope you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome day. And hello to our PLCC family. Hello, guys. How are you on today? I hope your day is awesome. Well, guess what? Let's go ahead on and get started with this story on today. Story time with Miss Doris. Mystery in the stables. You guys having a story just in time. Just before dinner. And this book is dedicated to Ellie and Lewis and Becky. And Nick Younger, this book is dedicated to them. Mystery in the Stable. I've counted seven ox carts, one chariot, two Roman soldiers, and a camel, and eleven donkeys. Jacob said to his sister Anna, Jacob and Anna had climbed to the roof. Let me turn the music down. Say to you, tell you. Just what to do. Jacob and Anna had climbed to the roof of their house to watch the crowds below. Under the order of the Emperor Augustus, all of the people were going to the hometown to their ancestors to be counted. Travelers were coming to the tiny town of Bethlehem by every, every road. Many of these travelers were descendants of David and the famous king. As Jacob practiced a new spin with their wooden top, Anna spotted a man leading a donkey through the inn's gate. She thought the young woman on the donkey looked really, really tired. There's another donkey, Anna called. 
that makes twelve. Jacob recalled, Jacob called back. The man knocked at the door of the inn. Anna saw the innkeeper step out and point to the place where the travelers kept their animals. After the man led the donkey to the stable, he helped the woman to the ground. When the woman lifted a basket from the donkey, Anna could see that it was filled with stripes of white linen cloth. The man and the woman went into the stable. Jacob took Anna. Jacob looked. Anna said, that's very, very puzzling. Why would the woman take a basket full of cloth into the stable where the animals stay? Their donkey might be hurt and need badging. Jacob offered, maybe answer Annie. came back to where the donkey was tied. He took down a bundle of tools from the donkey's back. I hear a hammer tapping, said Jacob a few minutes later. Do you think something is broken? The only thing broken in there is the manger. I sighed yesterday, Anna answered, taking a turn with the top. But why shouldn't that man care? It's only a manger. He could be a carpenter, Jacob suggested. They'd like to fix things. Just then, the innkeeper's son ran to the stable clutching a roll blanket. When he came out again, he coaxed the donkey inside. I wonder if he knows what's going on, said Jacob. Uh-oh, they are getting prepared for something. In story time. For a time, all was quiet. No one came or went. The sun began to set. Anna watched as the innkeeper carried a lamp to the stable. His wife brought a basket of bread and a jug of water. That's odd, said Anna. I've never seen the take. I've never seen her take supper to the stable before. Are they going to sleep in the stable with the animals? Asked Jacob. There are so many people in town for the census, Anna replied. The inn must be full. I guess everybody needs a place to stay. Hey, said Jacob, let's not forget our own supper. They scrambled down the ladder and rushed into the house. Jacob and Anna finished their leno stew as quickly as they could. Can we sleep on the roof tonight? Anna asked her mother. Why tonight? asked her mother. Because there's a mystery in the stable. And we want to solve it, said Anna. All right, but stay out of trouble. She told them. Jacob and Anna climbed back to the top, <clears throat> to the rooftop. They, the sky was dark and a breeze blew across the warm sky, the warm clay, unrolling their sleeping mats. They chose a spot just right for keeping watch on the stable. Anna awoke to the sound of a man's voice. Hmm, we might need to check every stable in the whole city of David. She poked her brother. Listen, she said as they crawled closer and closer to the edge. We're just shepherds, but an angel came to us. So here we are. Searching the streets of Bethlehem in the middle of the night, the angel told us we would find the Savior in a bed of 
straw. Then a boy's voice called out, I see a light over there. Story time. There's the light shining over Bethlehem. There's Anna and her brother. Story time. And there's the light shining to you. Why would they look for the Savior in the stable, Anna asked. That doesn't seem right. An angel told them, said Jacob, I heard a shepherd say that. This is getting even more and more mysterious, Anna said, and amazing. As the shepherds reached a stone entrance, Jacob and Anna finally could see them. One shepherd was a sheepskin, Jacob reported. The other has a sack, and the boy is carrying a flute. Do you think those are gifts? Anna asked. Once the shepherds are in the stable, Jacob and Anna couldn't hear them talking anymore. After a while, they heard the music of the flute. When the shepherds left, Jacob and Anna heard them praising God with the joyous, joyous voices. Why are they so happy? Anna wondered, who did they see? Do you think the man is the Savior? Asked Jacob. I wish we could find out for ourselves, said Anna. <clears throat> Leave it to me, said Jacob as he grabbed the top, giving it a powerful, powerful, powerful twist. The top spun to the edge, wobbled wildly, and fell to the courtyard below. I'm going down to get it, said Jacob. Not without me, you're not, Anna told him. They are trying to go and see what is going on mysteriously in the stables. Story time with Mr. Story time. Jacob ran over to where the top of, had come to rest. Anna slipped closer to the stable. I can't see much. She whispered to Jacob as he stepped near. Sending it, without a word, Jacob gave the top another powerful twist, sending it spinning through the entry. Oh, what's this? The man called out. He bent down and scooped up the top. Jacob and Anna jumped back. We were sleeping on the roof. We've been watching the excitement. Anna and Jacob jumped back. Aren't you children up late? Asked the man. Hmm. We were sleeping on the rooftop. We've been watching the excitement down here. Anna explained. We saw the shepherds come to visit. And there's the spin top. Story time, story time. Would you like to see why they came? Asked the man. Jacob and Anna nodded. The man motioned them in and then turned toward the manger. The woman was holding a baby. The baby was wrapped in stripes of white linen cloth. She laid the baby in the manger and then looked up and smiled at Jacob and Anna. A baby, said Anna. We never guessed this was all about a baby, said Jacob. We didn't see him come in before. That's because our son was born this very, very evening, said the woman. An angel told the shepherds to come to Bethlehem to find the Savior. He would be in a bed of straw, said Anna. Let your, like your baby, said Jacob. Yes, he was born in a manger. Baby Jesus, hallelujah.
Does this mean your baby is the promised Savior, asked Anna? So the angel told us, said the woman, Isn't he beautiful? He is beautiful, said Jacob, but he's only a baby. How can he be the Savior? When he grows up, answered the woman, he will do great things and his kingdom will never die. Baby Jesus, it's story time. Quickly, Jacob and Anna walked over to where the baby slept. They knelt down to see him better. The man held out the top. I believe this is yours. Jacob took the top and turned it slowly in his palm. He glanced at Anna. Here, said Jacob, handing the top back to the man. He wants to give this to your baby. Thank you, said the man. Our son will like it. And there's the top. We've been watching the stable all day and all night, said Jacob. We've been trying to figure out what was going on. I think I know, said Anna. The town is crowded. There's no room for you in the inn, so they let you stay in the stable where travelers keep their animals. The innkeeper brought you a lamp. His wife sent her son with a blanket, and she delivered a blanket of food and some water. This is where your baby was born. You wrapped him in those stripes of cloth. We saw you carry in. Now he's sleeping in the manger. You fixed with your hammer. The angel sent the shepherds to find the Savior on the bed of straw somewhere in Bethlehem, added Jacob. And here he is. Yes, you are quite a servant, said the man. Indeed you are, said the woman. We got to see the Savior, Jacob said. The Savior is born. And Anna announced, Tonight we solve the mystery, a wonderful, wonderful mystery. The mystery in the stable. Baby, baby, Jesus. Born in Bethlehem. Wow, this was an awesome, awesome story. Mystery in the stables of Bethlehem. The end. This was an awesome, awesome story. I enjoyed reading you the story of the mystery in the stable, which ended up the mystery in the stables was baby Jesus being born in Bethlehem in the manger. That was an awesome story. I hope you guys enjoyed that awesome story on tonight. And to those of you that's going to catch this story, this live story time reading on replay, I hope you enjoy it as well. And don't forget, guys, share, share, share story time videos with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe and like our YouTube channel. We have over there house over... 600 live story time reading. You guys were awesome. Don't forget, today's color was the color orange. And this is in the shape of a rectangle. And remember, if you're not feeling well, always, always let someone know that you're not feeling well. And they would take really, really, really good care of you. And when you're out and about, are you out on a mission? Are you playing with your spin top? Make sure you are washing and sanitizing your hands even when you go to visit or play with your baby sister and remember it's imperative that when you go out in public that you are wearing your mask don't take your mask off guys unless someone tells you to i enjoyed reading you an awesome awesome story on today 
mystery in the stables. Have an awesome, awesome, blessed day. Happy holidays to all of you out there in story time land. Happy holidays to all of you. Take care. Have an awesome, awesome night. And see you on tomorrow. God bless you.